All right, so over the last couple of weeks, many, many of us have not had access to a pull-up bar, or even if we do, uh, because we are following maybe slightly different programming, or maybe just the sort of like behavioral and habitual stuff, uh, we've probably been doing slightly less or maybe no uh, pull-up variations or certainly kipping pull-ups. All right, so this year, we'd like people to take it easy on the kipping pull-ups, uh, probably not do them at all, uh, we are going to uh, suggest some options that include scales with strict pull-ups or swapping the pull-ups out entirely, and we highly recommend that you follow that advice. Kipping pull-ups are great. They are a great expression of overall fitness, but they are something that needs to be worked up to. Uh, it probably took you a while when you started CrossFit to get your first kipping pull-up, and that process helped sort of build you up there, get your shoulders strong enough, get you uh, sort of ready to do those kipping pull-ups. Assuming that you can jump back in and do them after having not practiced them very much and certainly doing a hundred of them uh, with a lot of other movement, with a great deal of other sort of uh, metabolic uh, duress that your system is under, is a recipe for at the very least irritation, soreness for a long time, and you know, at the most, you know, possibly some sort of injury that will derail your process and make this process that we've got going forward of getting back into the gym, getting back to our normal strength levels even harder than it needs to be. So, watch it on the pull-ups, I'm telling you. I know you said I shouldn't be doing pull-ups, but I've been doing pull-ups for years. I mean, the last time I did pull-ups was like yesterday. I mean, not yesterday, maybe, oh, like, like five weeks ago, but what the hell? Watch it on the pull-ups, I'm telling you.